zihe ya Mungu kwa zaidi ya miaka miwili sasa kwa misaada na michango ya watazamaji kama wewe na wengine Tunaendelea kukushukuru wewe mtazamaji kwa kututazama na kutuenzi. Tunakuahidi tutaendelea kukuandalia vipindi zaidi vinavyoambatana na mahitaji ya nyakati hizi zetu. Tunakusi uendelee kuiombea kazi hii na zaidi ya yote tunakusi utusaidie kwa mchango wako wa aina yoyote ili kazi hii ya injili isonge mbele. Tafadhali tuma mchango wako kwa nambari iliyoko kwenye runinga yako. Paybill number 510678, account name Caps TV. Mungu aendelee kuwa mkarimu kwako. Akubariki wewe na kazi yako. Akubariki wewe na wapenzi wako na abariki familia yako. Kwa jina la Baba na la Mwana na la Roho Mtakatifu. Asante na Mungu akubariki. Endelea kutazama Capuchin TV. This Monday, 14th September 2020, Capuchin TV in conjunction with the Order of Friars Minor OFM will bring you live mass of the Holy Orders. The Holy Mass will start at 10 a.m. presided over by Bishop David Kamau, Auxiliary Bishop of the Catholic Archdiocese of Nairobi. The Holy Mass will be live on Capuchin TV and in our social media platforms. Congratulations to all candidates who will be ordained from Capuchin TV. Ekaristi. Sakramenti ya Ekaristi ni sakramenti ya mwili na damu ya Yesu Kristo aliyekweli katika maumbo ya mkate na divai. Kupata Ekaristi takatifu kama sikiza tuni yako, tuma neno sikiza likifuatwa na nambari 738010271 kwa nane moja moja. Our masses will start from 6 o'clock in the evening East African time. Capuchin TV, a Catholic broadcasting ministry. Tuna furaha kukujulisha kwamba misa takatifu ya kila siku ni kama ifuatavyo. Saa moja kamili asubuhi, saa saba unusu mchana, saa 12 jioni na saa mbili unusu usiku. God forbid the mass is ended. Thanks God. Mpenzi mtazamaji, tunakuenzi na kukudhamini. Endelea kutazama Capuchin TV. Liturgia Katoliki. Sakramenti. Kuungama Ekaristi. Sala. Nyimbo. Neno la Mungu. Ibada takatifu. Jiunge nasi kila siku ya Jumapili saa moja unusu usiku na Jumatatu saa nne asubuhi kwa liturujia Katoliki na Padre Bonfas Mukwe. Jina langu ni Judith Mbula Kilonzo, mwana PMC kutoka kanisa Katoliki la St. Teresa, parokia ya Ruru na nina shairi lenye mada Corona. Hima hima enye nyote na habari tupashane limezuka gonjo sugu la virusi vya corona tusiti yosha kakamu kwa ni mola atujali hili janga la corona tulishinda kwa rozari Ya muhimu ni usafi na tunawe mikonetu na sabuni tupakeni tungarushe mikonetu maji safi tutumie ndio kinga madhubuti hili janga la corona tulishinda kwa rozari Salamu ziko peni za mikono hazifai mikono pungia neni kinga bora kuliko tiba misongamano haifai virusi visisambae hili janga la corona tulishinde kwa rozari Tamati nimefika tujali afya zetu dalili zikupata wago usikujai hospitali ziko chonjo na vifaa madhubuti hili janga la corona tulishinde kwa rozari swa daktari 
Coronavirus COVID-19 is a respiratory virus spreading across the world. The infection is spread from droplets of coughing and sneezing of an infected person, touching or shaking hands or being in contact with contaminated surfaces. Shalom, my dear brothers and sisters. His Lordship, Bishop David Kamau, the Auxiliary Bishop of the Archdiocese of Nairobi, has arrived, who will be ordaining three of our brothers to the diaconate. It is my pleasure now to welcome all of you for this um, Eucharistic celebration in which as I have said, three of our brothers will be ordained. Some of you attended their solemn profession yesterday. Today we proceed now with your ordination to the, um, to the priesthood. I'll be taking you through the liturgy uh, in Na its katika, different... Uh, ibada hii takatifu ya misa, kiongozi wa ibada, mhashamu wa skofu, David Kamau, msaidizi wa skofu katika jimbo ku katoliki la Nairobi basi ni sherehe ya kuongezeka kwa wachungaji na watumishi katika shamba la buwana. Katika masomo ya siku ya leo somo la kwanza kutoka kitabu cha hesabu sura ya tatu, mstari wa tisa, mstari wa tano hadi tisa, wimbo wa katikati zaburi ya mia moja kumina saba na kitikio chake kimetolewa katika injili ya marko enendeni ulimwenguni mote mkaihubiri injili. Somo la pia matendo ya tume sura ya sita mstari wa kwanza hadi wa saba na injili ni kama ilivyo na mtakatifu matayo tano mstari wa 13 hadi 16 tunapongeza wateule ambao watapokea daraja ya Ushabasi siku ya leo tunapongeza shirika la Francisco hapa nchini na tunawatakia laheri katika kazi zao basi popote pale tulipo tuwaombe na tusali kwa ajili yetu sisi wenyewe na nchi yetu Mwenyezi Mungu aendelee kutubariki na kwa namna ya pekee atuodole janga hili la korona basi kutoka parokia St John Evangelist eneo la Karen Karibu katika maadhimisho ya ibada takatifu ya misa daraja takatifu ya ushamasi tuandamane hadi tamati tumtolee Mwenyezi Mungu sala zetu na mahitaji yetu jiunge nasi
I now take this opportunity to invite Reverend Father Ernest, who is the Assistant Parish Priest of St. John the Evangelist Parish, to welcome us in his parish. His Lordship, Oslari Bishop of Nairobi, Archdiocese, Bishop David Kamau, the Superior of OFM, the priest, religious men and women, the congregation, the Lord is good, and all the time. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, and on behalf of the parish priest, who is unavoidably absent, and the entire family of St. John the Evangelist Parish, it is my pleasure to welcome you to our parish for this great occasion of the Diaconate Ordination of our Brothers. Last week, we were here with the Bishop, and today he has come again to our parish. His Lordship is always our pleasure to have you around this parish. St. John the Evangelist is your home, and each and every one of us that have come to grace this occasion, it is always our pleasure to open our door for all of us, feel free to come anytime, any day. I would like to welcome the superior of OFM to now invite our Lordship to lead us in this Eucharistic celebration. Superior, please. Your Lordship, the Auxiliary Bishop of the Diocese of uh, Nairobi, uh, Bishop David Kamau. May I take this opportunity also to welcome distinguished guests that are here, my brother priests, and on behalf of our congregation, the Franciscans OFM of St. Francis in Africa, Madagascar and Mauritius, may I invite you to uh, lead us into this uh, diaconate ordination of our brothers. It's indeed a very big occasion for us uh, since we are an international congregation uh, spread out here in Africa as we see our three new brothers getting ordained to diaconal uh, uh, step. And uh, may I welcome uh, now the bishop uh, David Kamau to lead us into this liturgy, or I'll welcome. And the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. And our brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to serve the sacred mystery. I confess to Almighty God that I have made sins in my words, in my words, in what I have done, in what I have prayed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most faithful fault. Therefore, I ask blessed Mirror for you all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life.
to serve thee, your brothers and sisters. Grant, we pray, that peace your servants, whom you graciously have chosen today for the office of deacon, may be effective in action, gentle in ministry, and constant in prayer. Through our Jesus, your Son, who lives and lives with you, into the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. We are now going to listen to the word of God. Our first reading will come from the book of Numbers. It will be read in Kiswahili by Brother John OFM. Kindly come forward. You just be somewhere near there. Our psalm today will be Psalm 117 and it will be sung by the choir. The second reading will come from the Acts of the Apostles. And it will be read to us by Brother Mutasim, OFM. And the Gospel of today will come from the Gospel of Matthew. And it will be read by Deacon Benedict, OFM, Capuchin. Let us now pay attention to the Word of God.
somo katika kitabu cha hesabu siku zile bwana alimwambia Musa nilete karibu kabila ya Lawi ukaliweke mbele ya Aruni kuhani liwe msaidizi wake watashika kazi inayomwangukia yeye pamoja na mkutano wote mbele ya hema mbele ya hema ya kukutania wakifanya utumishi wa makao watatunza vyombo vyote vya hema ya kukutania na kushika kazi zote zinazowapasa wana wa Israeli wakitumikia makao utampa aruni na wanawe walawi kama walivyotengwa kando kati ya Israeli ndio waliotolewa kwake na wana wa Israeli neno la Bwana Wimbo wa katikati Zaburi 117 maneno ya kitikio Enendeni ulimwenguni mwote mkayumbili injili Enendeni ulimwenguni mwote mkayumbili injili Enendeni ulimwenguni mwote mkayumbili injili of the apostles now in these days when the disciples were increasing in number the Hellenistic murmured against the Hebrews because they are what because their widows were neglected in the daily distribution 
and the twelve summoned the body of the disciples and said, It is not right that we should give up preaching the word of God to serve tables. Therefore, brethren, pick out from among you seven men of good repute, full of the spirit and of wisdom, whom we may appoint to this duty. But we will devote ourselves to prayer and to the ministry of the word. And what they said pleased the whole multitude. And they chose Stephen, a man full of faith and of the Holy Spirit, and Philip, and Prochorus, and Nicor, and Timon, and Pamines, and Nicolaus, a prostitute of Antioch. This they said before the apostles, and they prayed and laid their hands upon them, and the word of God increased, and the number of the disciples multiplied greatly in Jerusalem. The word of the Lord. Wakati ule Yesu aliwambia wafuasi wake Ninyi ni chumvi ya dunia Chumvi ikipoteza ladha yake itakolezwa na nini Haifai kitu tena ila kutupwa nje na kukanyagwa na watu Ninyi ni mwanga wa ulimwengu Mji uliojengwa juu ya mlima haufichiki Kadhalika watu hawawashi taa na kuiweka chini ya pashi bali juu ya kinara ipate kuanga za wote waliomo nyumbani vivyo hivyo Mwanga wenyu uangaze mbele ya watu wapate kuona matendo yenu mema na kumtukuza baba yenu aliye mbinguni Injili ya Bwana Having listened to the word of God, we will now begin the rite of diaconate ordination. And uh, this rite of ordination 
is uh, divided into 14 distinct parts just to prepare you psychologically of what you'll be getting in a while. We'll begin with the calling of the candidates to be ordained to the diaconate, followed by the presentation of the candidates, and then there will be the election by the bishop and consent of the people. That will be followed by the homily given by his lordship, after which there will be commitment to celibacy, and um, after that, we'll have the examination of the candidate by his lordship. Then we'll have the promise of obedience, followed by the invitation to prayer. Then we'll have the litany of saints, followed by the laying on of hands. Then we'll have the prayer of consecration, that actually consecrates our brothers as deacons. Then we'll have the investiture with stall and dalmatic followed by the presentation of the book of the Gospels, and finally, the keys of peace. I now invite Brother Alfredis Romanika to call out the candidates to present them to his Lordship. Let those who are to be ordained deacons please come forward. Friar Mark Dusavimana. Friar Jean-Claude Njendahaya. Friar Frederick Onyango. Most Reverend Father, Holy Mother Church, ask you to ordain these men, our brothers, for the service of deacon. Do you judge them to be worthy? After inquiry among the people of Christ and upon recommendation of those concerned with their training, I testify that they have been found worthy. We rely on the help of the Lord God and our Savior Jesus Christ and we choose these men, our brothers, for the order of deacons. Thanks be to God. We now invite his lordship to uh, give us his homily. To him, Savior Jesus Christ, Na mungu ni mwema kila wakati. Ninyi ni wema kila wakati sio kila wakati eh kwani mungu ndiye mwema kila kila wakati. First I would like to to thank 
the, the, the Christians of St. John, the evangelist, the parish priest and uh, his co-workers for welcoming us. This has reminded me of one time I was working in a parish as assistant parish priest in uh, one of the parishes here in uh, the city, central business district. And uh, I was told by the parish priest, one of our apostolate, one of our duties is to welcome the priests, and the sisters, and the Christians who come to Nairobi. So we're always busy, even buying food, this and that, for the visitors who are, who are coming. So that was our apostolate. Eh? So Father, you told the parish priest, the Christians, even if you don't do anything else, and you are coming us, you have done your apostolate. Eh? And we are happy and we are grateful. And God sees that. So thank you very much. And you pass our regards to the Christians. So, brothers and sisters, Leo ni siku mehusana. Ni siku ya kumshukuru mwenyezi mungu. Kwani muda usio mlefu, hawa vijana wetu watapata daraja ya ushamasi. Kweli Kristo mwenyewe ndiye alisema mafuno ni mengi lakini wafanyikazi ni wafanyikazi ni wachache basi unapopata wafanyikazi katika shaba la Mungu tunamshukuru Mwenyezi Mungu na pia kwa Mungu tunashukuru tunawashukuru wazazi wazazi kwa kuwapokea hawa watoto katika ulimwengu kuwalea kuwasomesha kuwatunza najua sasa ni furaha yenu kuwasindikisha katika altare ya Mungu wajitolee kwa Mwenyezi Mungu na ningetaka kuhakikishia kwamba hakuna yeyote ambaye amejitolea kwa Mwenyezi Mungu au kumtumikia Mungu akapoteza chochote lakini ni kupata baraka baraka tele. Kwa hivyo wazazi mukubali na mpokee shukrani zetu. Na pia shirika ambalo niliwapokea niwasaidia kufika siku ya leo wapate ubadilisho kama mashabasi. Kwa hivyo shirika la Francisca na Santini San kazi jema wanafanya. Tunapopata vijana kanisani na mkuu wa shirika amesema ni baraka kubwa. Tunajua kwamba begu ilipandwa na wamishionari wetu wa kwanza ita itakuwa. Tunapopata vijana tunapata matumaini ya kwamba kazi ya kanisa tunafanya sasa itafanya nini itaendelea kwani tunasema kwamba boma boma ambao haina dama wa ngombe tujue kwamba ngombe zinaisha vivyo hivyo kanisa ambao halina vijana wanajitolea tujue kwamba kanisa lina kufa lakini hapa kanisa letu bado kwa sababu tunaona vijana wanajitolea tunaona ya kwamba kanisa litaendelea na kwa hivyo wanangu wapata saka media ya shamanzi asandeni sana mnatupatia matumaini katika maisha katika kanisa mnatupatia matumaini lakini hata hivyo kiangalia hao wazee wazee walikuwa wameshikilia kanisa na jambo la maana mjua kwamba hata ingawa mnatoa watu matumaini sio wa kwanza kanisa mjua kwamba kanisa lilikuwa hapo 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 mwanzo ni sio watu wako wa kwanza kanisa ndio kwa hiyo baada ya ubadilisho msiende sasa kutengeneza injili yetu msiende kutengeneza 
kanono yeye ndiye haramu eh mo lakini mjenge mjenge yale ma, e, kazi mababu wetu katika imani walikuwa wakifanya eh kwa hivyo ni furaha yetu kuwapokea katika hii daraja ya ushamansi and now my my sons you are being raised to the order of the eagles the lord has sent an example has set has sent has set an example for you to follow as deacons you will serve jesus christ who was known among his disciples as the one who served others do the will of god generously serve god and mankind in love and joy look upon all unchastity and avarice as worship of false gods for no man can serve two masters like the men the apostle chose for works of charity you should be men of good reputation filled with wisdom and the holy spirit show before god and mankind that you are above every suspicion of blame true ministers of christ and of god's mysteries men firmly rooted in faith and never turn away from the hope which the gospel offers now you must not only listen to god's word but also preach it hold the mysteries of faith with a clear conscience express in action what you proclaim by word of mouth then the people of god brought to life by the spirit will be an offering to god acceptable god accepts and finally on the last day when you go to meet the lord you will hear him say well done a good and faithful servant enter the joy of your lord you are called to serve if you are asked who is your model if you are who is your model the lady says jesus has set an example that jesus is the model so you are called for humble service it is a great temptation for human being to be felt as you know today in our country people are doing campaign campaign have gone back to campaign and even now they don't care about corona virus is on a charge they are telling us is corona virus but when you go out political analysis even people are put of the masks ni kweli asimi na ana kwa tv kama ninyi amoni mimi na kwa tv na nina na data sasa watu wakiongea they have take care of the ona but wanasema tukie tugia kanisa tuangalie na kwa corona virus haiko kwa supermarket haiko kwa political analysis lakini iko wapi bana tuhumia so people want to be filled to be felt the pride pride and uh, people want to sit on others most of people want to be leaders not because they want to lead the people but they want to sit on them high privileges and other things but he has said for you he told these apostles for you it should not be that way for you you must be servants you must be people who are led to serve today we are celebrating the exaltation of the cross the triumph of the cross and jesus was always my disciples whoever want to follow me 
must cut his cross and fall. I would imagine the time he was telling the apostles, talking about the cross, of which we are celebrating today. He was talking to them, and um, I suppose they, did, they didn't have a school or a classroom. They were just walking. And he was telling them, uh, my sons, we are going to Jerusalem. The son will go to Jerusalem. He is going to be rejected and he is going to be crucified. And he was instructing them about the cross, about humility. And when they reached where they were going, he asked them, by the way, when he was talking about the cross, what were you thinking about? Because he knew what the, here he was talking about the cross and he knew what we were thinking about. And the gospel proved very clearly that they all kept quiet. Why? Because they were discussing among themselves who will be the greatest. Who will be the greatest? Who will be next to the big bang? You see the, the, the characteristics of the apostles. I was Peter. Peter was the chairman of the others. Eh? And he told the others, gentlemen, don't worry who will be the next, who will be the greatest, because he has given me the key. It is here. So I'll be the, if you play around, I will lock you out. You must recognize I am the greatest because he was given the, the key. And then there came another one called John. John told Peter, key, to be given a key means nothing. I am the beloved disciple. When this time who will be the greatest, who will take over, I am the beloved child. So I will, give, I will be given power. He told Peter, put, that, put back your key in the pocket. And then there came another one. This uh, Philip and Andrew. Remember when Jesus fed 5,000 people? He had asked, Philip, what are we going to do? And from that time, Philip concluded he was the chief advisor of the big man. So he was telling the others now, Peter, to be given the key means nothing. John, beloved disciple means nothing. I am the chief advisor. So when the time comes to take over, he will ask me as chief advisor, I will take over. I say I'm the best person. And unless, don't play around with me now because I, I know how, how, how the way I would define him. And these were apostles. And there came another one who was calling the portfolio, you know, the budget control, eh? treasurer. And uh, he said, You, Peter, <laughs> about the key, forget about it. John, beloved disciple, oh, I forget about being the beloved disciple. Philip, forget about chief advisor. In this world, in this life, who matters most? Who matters most is a person who keeps the checkbook. The one who keeps the checkbook is the one who matters. So he told them, now, play around. If you don't recognize me as the boss, in the evening, Hamuta kula uga ina samaki, sita nunua. Sita nunua uga ina samaki. Kwa ni nani? Judas, eh? Kwa he was in charge of the, of, the, uh, of, the, of the bank. What I'm saying is, they were fighting among, among themselves who will be the greatest. Just as today, people are fighting for leadership. And since what is happening, in the state could also be happening in the church. We are not called to fight for leadership. We are called to serve, to be humble. So my 
the deacons to be. You are called for that humility. You are called to serve. And not to be served. It was until the apostles received the Holy Spirit. They came to recognize what the cross is. And they all died on the cross. Almost all of them died on the cross. So that's why we pray to the Holy Spirit. That he may help us. And exactly the carrying of the coat it means to carry the cross I celebrate today the triumph of the cross and uh, today I like also to compare this day with that day when Abraham was called when Moses was called when Jeremiah the prophets when Jesus called his apostles and in this calling we can come out with four things first that a call is from God it's a gift initiative from God and therefore again there is no room for pride because it is a gift from God it's God who calls it's God who calls the person from among me he calls not because we are the, we are the best I'm sure they are much, much are good boys in the village. But you are called. So it is a, it is a gift. And when the, God calls these people both in New and Old Testament, they responded. That means a call is a gift and requires a response. And without that response, the call just hangs in the air. That's why you are called and you say, here I am. Without that response, then the vocation is not there. It's there but hangs there. And then when there's a call and response, then you are trusted with the mission. Go and work. It's not sitting down. Go and carry the cross. It's a question of carrying the cross. And the fourth one, when Abraham was called, and Abraham was called, he was asked by the Lord for something that was special. Abraham, I used one among, and Patek to my son. And the Kigan in Nini, Mungu, I used Abraham, Ibrahim, and Patek. Ni, Mutotoake. His son Isaac. Munga ni mwambia ni mekupatia huyu. Basi ni patia sasa. Lakini Isaac alikuwa nani katika maisha Abraham. Alikuwa maisha yake yote. Maisha ya siku hizo anaishi na ziku sijazo. Matumaini yake yote ilikuwa katika huyu mtoto. Lakini Munga ni mwambia basi ni patia. Inamaanisha ya kwamba Mungu aliuliza maisha ya Ibrahim. Maisha ya Ibrahim. Matumaini yake yote. Vivyo hivyo. Siku ya leo. Mungu anawauliza mpatie mpatie kinwa kitu ambacho Mungu anawaomba mpatie. Na tutashuhudia tuta, tuta we shall listen to that as I examine you to see how ready you are to give. And that is we are going to see that through the vow of poverty, vow of obedience, and the vow of celibacy. Vow of poverty. That whatever you have belongs to the congregation. Whatever you have belongs to God. You have nothing of your own. You become poor in the kingdom of God. Mazazi, to your life is you. How sasa? wanawaka nadhiri wanakula keapo ya kusema ya kwamba hata kuwa na chochote chake binafsi chochote hata kuwa nacho ni la kanisa kwa hivyo basi tutisema ati unyo weye uyu ni hata kuwa kisomesha wale watoto wengine nephews and cousins hana chochote masikini wa mungu hana chochote kwa hivyo wazazi tuwelewe hapo eh 
mzizi mzianza kuambia sasa wewe ni padri leta ah atakula kiapo kusema chochote anacho katika fao poverty ni za kani ni kanisa eh tuelewana hapo jambo pili kitu na Mungu anamuomba hiyo kitu pili ni ndio hizo wazazi hamtaki mtu atajenga hapo nyumba nyumba ya boma yenu kwa sababu yeye hata kuwa na familia yake familia yake itakuwa watu wa Mungu they are going to have a spiritual family na hiyo sio sio rahisi sio rahisi ni nani hataki ni nani hataki kuitwa baba ni nani hataki kuwa na mtoto eh akina mama ni mama gani hataki kuwa na mtoto eh kama hana watu wananua wengine wananua asikie anaitwa mama au anaitwa baba hakuna mtu hataki lakini hiyo mtu kitu muhimu sana ndio sasa wanaupatia Mwenyezi Mungu muhimu sana muhimu sana that's one of the greatest sacrifice na kitu ya tatu ni uti uti kuweka maisha yao yote mikononi mwa kanisa shirika mkuu wa shirika kusema kwamba sio watakuwa wakiishi sasa hawatakuwa wakifanya mapenzi yao they not do what they want tomorrow you will be sent somewhere you don't say ah, ah, ah let me think about it. ah ah there's no thinking about it. about it tunashuhudia sasa umekubali umekubali kuonyesha heshima na uti kwa askofu mahali alikuwa akifanya utakuwa akifanya kazi na wakuwa shirika wa shirika usiwe kesho ni wewe unaambia mguu wa shirika vile utafanya nasema ni furaha kubwa kuwa na vijana lakini usiwe mtu wa kutengeneza you are here we are rule of life it is already there kwa hivyo baraka hupatikana kwa kujitolea kikatilifu kwa kujipatia kwa kwa, kwa, kwa to, to give yourself to God fully. Na hiyo sio rahisi. Tunahitaji sala. Tunahitaji kuwaombea nyinyi wa Kristo. Tunahitaji mtu ombee. Kwa sababu sio rahisi. Sio rahisi mtu ombee. Mtu ombee na nyinyi sisi tuwaombe. Kwa sababu hata kukaa katika maisha ya familia ni rahisi. Kukaa maisha ya familia Huyu sasa mnapatana mkiwa wazima na unazaa mtakao mpaka kufa ni rahisi tunashijanyika katika familia Mungu ahurumie eh Unahitaji sisi tuwaombe na nyinyi mfanye nini tutimize wito wetu mbele ya Mungu tunelewana eh Hivi basi hatu waombe na tunajua we have another forget an advocate our lady Mary she is very powerful she was always with Jesus Christ as he fulfilled his mission and even today Mary is always in the church to jiweke mikononi mwa Bikra Maria na tukifanya hivyo Bikra Maria atatusaidia atatuombea kwa mwanae na kwa hiyo wanangu sasa ningetaka kuacha mikononi mwa Bikra Maria mnapopata daraja ya upadi. Na sasa ningetaka sasa kuwahoji kuwahoji nisikie kama mungu tayari kuishi hayo maisha ya celibacy kuishi maisha ya poverty na kuishi maisha ya obedience na msema kwa sauti watu wasikie mko tayari eh kwa hivyo kesho tusije sasa tuwe na shida sasa eh basi sasa tutaanza sasa kuahoji sasa eh kuahoji sasa
Brothers and sisters, let's first of all take a short moment of silence to reflect on those edifying words from His Lordship, and especially on the call to service of our brothers to be ordained deacons. We now invite the three ordinates to stand before his lordship and commit themselves to celibacy. They have already done it as, uh, um, in their temporary profession, but they are going to recommit themselves to it. So brothers, kindly stand before the bishop and commit yourself to celibacy. By your own free choice, you seek to enter to enter the order of deacons. You shall exercise this ministry in the celibate state, for celibacy is both a sign and a motive of a pastoral charity. In the special source of spiritual fruitfulness in the world. By living in this state with a total dedication, moved by a sincere love for Christ the Lord, you are consecrated to Him a new and a special way. By this consecration, you are adhere more easily to Christ with a divided heart. You will be more freely at the service of God and mankind, and you will be more and travel the ministry of Christian confession and liberty. By your life and character, you will give witness to your brothers and sisters in faith that God must be loved above all else, and that it is Him who serve in, you serve in others. Therefore, I ask you, in the presence of God and the Church, I will resolve the sign of interior dedication to Christ to remain celibate for the sake of the kingdom and in lifelong service to God and mankind. I am. I am. I am. May the Lord help you to persevere in this commitment. Amen. 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 And now, and His Lordship now will uh, examine the candidate uh, or the intent to be ordained as deacons. And now, my sons, before you ordain to deacons, you must declare before the people your intention to undertake this office. Are you willing to be ordained for the church ministry by the laying of hands and the gift of the Holy Spirit? I am. I am. I am. I resolve to hold the mystery of faith with a clear conscience and the apostle urges and to proclaim this faith in word and action as it is taught by the gospel and the church's tradition. I am, I am, I am. I resolve to maintain and deepen a spirit of prayer appropriate to your way of life and in keeping with the what is required of you to celebrate faithfully the liturgy of ours for the church and for the whole world. I am, I am, I am. I resolve to shape your way of life, always according to the example of Christ, whose body and blood you will give to the people. I am with the help of God. I am with the help of God. I am with the help of God. The um, ordinance will kneel before his lordship and promise obedience.
my son, do you promise obedience to your local ordinary, the local ordinary, and your superiors? I do. May God, who has begun the good work I knew, bring it to fulfillment. My son, do you promise obedient to your local ordinary and your superiors? I do. May God who has begun the good work in you bring it to fulfillment. Amen. Amen. My son, do you promise obedience to the law ordinary and your experience? I do. May God who has begun the good work in you bring it to fulfillment. Amen. Mary all son, as his lordship invites you to prayer. My dear people, let us pray that the all-powerful Father will pour out his blessing on this servant of his, whom he received, who, whom they received into the holy order of deacons. Literally. And our brothers are going to prostrate the sign of uh, consecration to the Lord. Mm -hmm. And as they prostrate, the choir will lead us with the litany of the saints.
mtakatifu mama wa Mungu utuombe bigira mtakatifu mkuu wa mambiki Takatifu Mikaeli Malaika wote watakatifu Takatifu Yohane Mbatizaji Takatifu Yosefu Utuombe Watakatifu Petro na Paulo Utuombe Mitume na waenjili wote watakatifu Wazi wa Bwana wote watakatifu Watoto mashahidi wote watakatifu Watakatifu Stefano na Raulendi Watakatifu Fambiani na Sebastiani Watakatifu Kosmasi na Damiani Watakatifu Amblosi Takatifu Agustino Takatifu Martin Takatifu Antoni Takatifu Benedicto Takatifu Benado Takatifu Francisco Takatifu Takatifu Dominico Takatifu Malia Magdalena Takatifu Angrata Takatifu Lucia Takatifu Agnesi Takatifu Catalina Wasiena Monica, 
kutudhimbitisha sisi na kutu, kutundumisha katika utumishi wako mtakatifu Jali yeme maya milele wote walio tutende ya mema Upende kusikiliza na kutujali ya maombi yetu Na wate ule hao upende kuwabariki Na wate ule hao upende kuwabariki na kuwatakasa Upende kuwabariki kuwatakaza na kuwaweka wakfu petitions and give your help to this act of our ministry. We judge these men worthy to serve as deacons and we ask you to bless them and make them holy. Glad this through Christ our Lord. Amen. What follows now? is the laying on of hands. Each of the ordinance will come and kneel before his lordship and he will lay his hands on them in silence. What now follows is the prayer of consecration. His Lordship will pray over the three ordinates, extending his hands as he prays this prayer. And at the end of this prayer, our three brothers will be deacons. This is the prayer that makes them deacons. So we invite his Lordship for that. 
Almighty God, be pleased with us by your power. You are the source of all honor. You are assigned to each his rank. You give to each his ministry. You remain unchanged, but you watch over all creation and make it new. Through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, he is your word, your power, and your wisdom. You foresee all things in your internal providence and make due provision for every age. You make the church Christ's body grow to its full stature as a new and greater temple. You enrich it with every kind of grace. You perfect with the diversity of members to serve the whole body in a wonderful pattern of unity. You establish threefold ministries of worship and service for the glory of your name. As ministers of your tabernacle, you choose the sons of Levi and give them your blessing as the Anaphalist inheritance. In the first days of your church, under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, the apostles of your son appointed, appointed seven men of good repute to assist them in the daily ministry so that they themselves might be more free for prayer and preaching. By prayer and the laying on of hands, the apostles entrusted to these chosen men the ministry of serving at tables. Lord, look with the favor on these servants of yours, whom we now dedicate to the office of deacons to minister at your holy altar. Lord, send forth upon them the Holy Spirit, that they may be strengthened by the gift of your sevenfold grace to carry out faithfully the work of the ministry. May they excel in every virtue, in love that is sincere, in concern for the sick and the poor, in an assuming authority, in self-discipline, and in holiness of life. May their conduct exemplify your commandments and lead your people to imitate their purity of life. May they remain strong and steadfast in Christ, giving to the world the witness of a pure conscience. May they in this life imitate your Son, who came not to be served but to serve, and one day reign with him in heaven. We ask this through all your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Our three brothers and our deacons, let's clap for them. <laughs> what follows now is the investiture with stall and dalmatic that are proper vestments to, for deacons. So the designated brothers can come and vest the three deacons with these vestments. As you can see, their stall is put sideways that uh, will assist them in their call to service. As deacons, they are ordained to serve, to serve at the altar. And when they will be ordained priests, then their stall will be uh, put in the normal way you see the stalls of a priest. But it is usually put in that way because it actually fits for the um, sacrament they have received of service as deacons. Now, they will be presented with the book of the Gospels, so they will kneel before the, His Lordship, and they will receive the book of the Gospels, 
and we will hear the words that his lordship will ask them to um, to abide to. Receive the gospel of Christ who is held you are now. Believe what you read, teach what you believe, and practice what you teach. Amen. Receive the gospel of Christ, whose herald you now are. Believe what you read, teach what you believe, and practice what you teach. Amen. Receive the gospel of Christ, whose herald you now are. Believe what you read, teach what you believe, and practice what you teach. Amen. What follows now in the last act uh, is a kiss of peace. It is reserved only to three people because of the situation we are we in. We have to observe the protocols that are given by the Minister of Health. His Lordship is going to congratulate them and, of course, the Minister Provincial with the Guardian. I now ask the newly ordained deacons to face the people, first of all the clergy, and you wave them, you know, give them a sign of peace by waving at them, and then to, to the congreg congregants. Now a Christo water for Jumla. I am a coffee navigator. So now I can officially declare that uh, the order of the OFM, the first minor, has received three new deacons. We are very grateful for all the brothers who participated in their preparation. And in a very special way, we thank His Lordship, uh, Bishop David Kamau, for coming to ordain them. Thank you very much. Now we continue with the liturgy of the Eucharist. The three ordained brothers will go and bring the gifts of bread and wine. And the congregants, you can offer your offertory at this particular moment. Just come uh, to the uh, offertory boxes and offer your offertory to the Lord. The ordained brothers, kindly come to the altar so that you can sign the book of ordination with His Lordship and the Minister Province.
the newly ordained bishop, uh, um, deacons, join the bishop of the altar kindly. The sacrament may accept to God the Almighty Father. Holy Father, whose Son chose to wash the disciples' feet, 
And so set as an example, accept we pray the oblation of your of our service, and then that offering ourselves a spiritual sacrifice may be filled with the spirit of humility and zeal through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks, the Lord our God. So let and just our duty and our salvation. Always in order to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, you made your only begotten Son, High Priest of the new and eternal covenant. And by your wondrous design, you pleased to decree that many ministries be exercised in the church. For Christ not only adorns with the loyal priesthood, the people he has made his own, but with the brother's kindness, he has he also chosen men to become sharers in this sacred ministry through the laying on of hands. He chooses them to lead your people, your holy people in charity, to nourish them with the word and strengthen them with the sacraments as they give up their lives for you and for the salvation of their brothers and sisters. May they strive to be conformed to the image of Christ himself and offer you a constant witness of faith and love. And so, Lord, with the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as an exhortation we acclaim. You are indeed, O oh Lord, and of oh, that we give you praise. For through your Son, Jesus Christ, by the power and the work in the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and never gather put to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may offer to your name. Therefore, O oh Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy this gift that brought you for consecration, that it may become the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ, as whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and gave him thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when he supposed they took the chalice and gave him thanks, he, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink for, from it. For the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me.
The mystery of faith. Therefore, O Lord, as of the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his water restoration and session to heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the abortion of your church, and recognize the sacrifice of victim, by whose death we will to our to yourself, grant that we are nourished by the blood and blood of your Son, and the fear of the Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, most chaste, with the blessed apostles and the glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence would rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of reconciliation we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant, Pope Francis, and Cardinal Njue and his auxiliary, Bishop Kamal, the order of the bishops and all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom we have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to, who are pleasing from, and, to, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and him, O God, mighty find to the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And the Savior's command and the form of the thing, we dare to say, Our Father, Lord, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. He does not eat temptation. Yeah. The first Lord, we pray from every evil. Gracious, grant peace in our days that by the love of your mercy may be always free from sin and safe from all stress as a blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. The the Lord Jesus Christ, your apostles, peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And gracious, grant our peace and accordance to our will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And in your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Yeah. 
Oh, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world, bless are those who call this sap of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter on my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall. It's now communion time. All concelebrating priests are invited to receive the body and blood of Christ from the altar through attention. And we'll have two uh, places for distributing the Holy Communion uh, in front here, one to the left and one to the right here. So you receive the Holy Communion on your hand as prescribed for us as one of the protocols we have to observe through the Ministry of Health due to the um, pandemic that uh, is with us.
Servants, 
whom you had pledged with heavenly food and drink, that for the sake of your glory and the salvation of believers, they may be found faithful as ministers of the gospel of the sacraments of charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. We be seated. We are nearing the end of uh, this uh, Eucharistic celebration in which we have uh, had three of our brothers ordained deacons. We will have a few speeches here uh, given by a few people, short speeches, because we don't prolong it too long. And um, the first speech that will be given us will be given us by one of the new uh, ordained deacons who will represent the other uh, two after which we'll have a speech given by one parent to represent other parents of our deacons. After that, we will have a speech given us by our guardian. Guardian in our Franciscan vocabulary is the leader of a local community or what we call a local fraternity. So he will give his speech and he will invite the minister provincial who is actually our superior uh, here in Kenya, not only in Kenya, but in the countries that he mentioned. His jurisdiction extends from Burundi, Rwanda, Uganda, Tanzania, Kenya, Malawi, Madagascar, Mauritius, and Zambia. And therefore, he's in charge of all these countries as a minister provincial. Whenever there is an occasion like the one we have heard, he is the one who will travel to these countries to um, be there when our brothers are being ordained. And therefore, it's a big responsibility. Pray for him. I, he assumed office a year ago that uh, the Lord may grant him the strength uh, to continue to carry out this mission that he has freely accepted a service to the brothers. After the minister provincial speaks, he will invite his lordship so that he can also give us a few words before he finally blesses with his, um, uh, uh, with his final blessing and we conclude the Holy Mass. Thank you very much. So, the brother... Uh, the new uh, on a deacon who is representing other deacons, kindly come forward. Mashama Baba Skofu, Muhudumu, Washrika Landugu, Adogo, Francisco, Kakanda, Africa, Madagascar, Nakisiwa, Chamauricia, Mapadri. Mashemasi, watawa, na wamini, tumsifu Yesu Kristu. Nimeona kwamba tumesha ongea sana kingereza kumbe na mba mnirusu, nirudi nyumbani. Awali ya yote, niko hapa kwa niyamu, mashemasi wa kurani, towa kwa kwa amba kwepo, Uhusa ya baba paroko na msaidizo wake na wamini kwa ujumla basi ya tungeweza kupata ruhusa ya kutumia nafasi hii. Hivyo basi shukrani za dhati kwa baba paroko ingawa hayupo lakini natumai kwamba baba paroko msaidizi atafikisha shukrani zetu. Na shukrani baba paroko ka, katika uh, Mahali popote alipo, tunatumai kwa mba baparoku msaidizi, atafikisha shukrani zetu. Shukrani za dhati pia tunatoa kwa kwa ya etu ambayo wameifanikisha shuguli ya leo. Labda, tuatunga jimbie, mara nyingi tunaweza tukaimba kama watawa, lakini hatuwezi tukajimbie katika shere zetu sisi wenyewe. Mi mwenye mwalimu wa kwaya lakini katika shughuli hii ingekuwa ngoma kumbe pongezi na shukrani kwa ya muungano inayotoka parokia ya makadara parokia ambayo nimekuwepo kama muumini kwa miaka kadhaa kumbe hawa na kwa nimeimba nao na shukrani kwamba hamjaniachilia mumenifuata mpaka kwenye sherehe hii na shukrani kwenu Basi shukra ni pia natoa kwa ndugu jamaa na marafiki kutoka semu mbali mbali. Hivyo basi katika nyanja hii ningependa 
kutambua uwepo wa ndugu jamaa na marafiki kutoka sehemu tofauti tofauti kuna ndugu jamaa na marafiki wanaotoka katika nchi ya Rwanda naomba msimame mpunge mkono msimame Kuna ndugu jamaa na marafiki kutoka parokia ya mtakatifu Mikaeli Malaika Mkuu Sigomere mahali ambapo wazazi wangu wanakaa. Naomba msimamo mpunge mkono. Vile vile najua kwamba kuna ndugu jamaa na marafiki kutoka parokia ya Holy Trinity Buruburu naomba msimame mpunge mkono mahali ambapo tumehudumu naona baba paroko pia yuko pale tumehudumu nimehudumu katika hiyo parekia katika shughuli za utume naomba kumbe hajanisahau vile vile kuna parokia wanayotoka wanakoa hii ya OLV Makadara naomba waumini ndugu na jamaa na marafiki kutoka OLV Makadara tusimama tupunge mikono hivyo basi bila kusahau ndugu jamaa na marafiki na waamini wote ambao mmechangia katika kuhakikisha kwamba shughuli hii imefanikiwa kumbe shukrani za dhati ziwafikie na mjisikie kwamba nyinyi ni watu wa maana tumsifu Yesu Kristu shukrani thank you very much uh, Deacon uh, Frederick Onyango now we will invite Father Alfred Romanika who is the uh, guardian of uh, the, our student's house, uh, St. Anthony Langata Friary, and he's also the definitor for Kenya. So he's one of the councillors who uh, work hand in hand with the Minister Provincial. Welcome, Father Aphrodis Romanik. Your Lordship, Bishop David, priests, Sister Aurovio has not come to an end, but it has just begun. Sijamualika Baba Provinciari Nataka. I don't know how to express our joy and on behalf of our province of St. Francis in Africa. Madagascar and Mauritius today. As friars, we are normally sent. Uh, we are called and sent. And as you have heard, we are in 10 countries. Now, if we include Juba, because Juba, South Sudan, and even Khartoum has been opened soon. Recently, uh, we have even some brothers here from Sudan. Huh? Uh, you'll be introduced soon. Now, for the appointments of the three brothers, uh, Brother Mark Dusabimana is going to work in Mwanza, Tanzania, Butimba. <laughs> now, Brother Frederick uh, Onyango is going to work in Kampala, the new parish. <laughs> Brother John Cloud Gendimana is going to work in Rwanda, in Mbazi, our Mbazi Parish. And we thank you so much. We are still together. When we celebrate together in the house, we don't want to take long here because of the COVID. Thanks a lot, and may God bless you for coming. Before um, His Lordship uh, gives us his uh, um, final speech, I will introduce you very briefly to the concelebrating priest here present. Uh, when I call your name, just arise and wave to the Christians. We have uh, Father Nicholas Onyango. Father Nicholas, he is the Superior General of the Franciscan Missionaries of Hope. Thank you for coming to be with us. 
We have Father Vincent uh, Shumila. He is working with the Capuchin TV, OFM Cup. Thank you very much. We have Father Anthony uh, Futa from the Arch Archdiocese of Kisumu. He's a parish priest of uh, St. Michael Singore. Then we have Father Ignatius Njue from the Archdiocese of Nairobi. We have Father Aaron Mwa Mwa Mwantawa, Mantuta. He's a Benedictine uh, priest. We have Father George in Tunze. He's our own Franciscan OFM from Burundi. We have uh, Father Ernest Ahantu Spiritan. He is the assistant parish priest of this parish of St. John the Baptist. Then we have Father Victor Hundayezu. He is our own OFM priest from Rwanda. We have Father Francis Mbuvi, our friar OFM from Machakos. And we have Father Alfidio Tuna, our OFM friar. He comes from Zimbabwe. He has been a former custos in Zimbabwe, and now he has been elected director of our university in Lusaka, Zambia, St. Bonaventure's University. Then I want to acknowledge the, uh, the presence of uh, the deacons who have served at this mass. We have a deacon Benedict OFM Capuchin. Is he? Good. We have uh, Deacon Peter, a passionist. And we have uh, uh, Deacon Nataka Dennis, a uh, Dominican uh, deacon. I also want to acknowledge the presence of sisters from different religious congregations. I'll just mention your congregation and the members who are present can rise and wave at the uh, congregation present. We have the Nazareth Sisters of the Annunciation. Can they rise and wave at the audience? We have the Religious Sisters of the Assumption. Can they rise and wave at the congregation? We have the Franciscan Sisters of St. Anne. Can they rise for recognition? We have uh, Benemikras ben Benebikra Sisters. Can they rise for recognition? And we have Missionary Sisters of Our Lady of the Holy uh, rosary. Can you rise for recognition? If we have any other religious congregation that I have not mentioned, can you rise? I want to ask our OFM brothers who are in the, in, the, in, the, in the congregation, you know, our OFM in the initial formation, can you rise for recognition? Okay. These are our young brothers from different countries, from Sudan, from Uganda, from Burundi and also uh, from Kenya. We also happen to have a Maris brother present among us. Can you rise for recognition? Thank you very much um, uh, for coming. And everyone else was uh, actually uh, rec recognized by uh, the deacon who spoke on behalf of the other deacons. It is now my joy and pleasure to invite uh, his lordship to give us his uh, um, speech after which we are going to conclude uh, the Holy Mass. Mercy to smile for Baraka. The Lord be with you. And now may your mighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Nendeni na mani
mtakatifu Yesu Kristu. matangazo haya ya moja kwa moja Tumefikia mwisho wa matangazo haya moja kwa moja kutoka hapa kwa mtakatifu Yohane Mwinjilisti St John the Evangelist Karen ambapo ndugu wa Francisco shirika la ndugu wa Francisco OFM wamekuwa na sherehe ya daraja takatifu ya ku, ya ku, uh, kuwateua rasmi watatu baina yao katika ushamasi kiongozi wa ibada mheshimiwa askofu David Kamau msaidizi katika Jimbo Katoliki la Nairobi amewafundisha kuhusu kwamba mavuno ni mengi katika shamba la Mungu lakini watenda kazi ni wachache basi wanamshukuru Mwenyezi Mungu wenyewe wateule kwa wito wao baba askofu ametufundisha kushukuru Mwenyezi Mungu kwa ajili ya wale wateule wazazi na na kutunza na kwa hiyo miito mitatu amefundisha kwamba wale wateule je, wa, kanisa na shirika wasianze mafundisho yao ama maisha yao binafsi wawe na sifa njema kujazwa na roho mtakatifu kama wale mashemasi saba wa kwanza tunaoposoma katika kitabu cha matendo ya mitume wawe wanyenyekevu na akatoa mifano wa mabishano kati ya mitume wa Yesu nani mkuu akafundisha kwamba sote tumeitwa kuwa watumishi wa wengine amesema katika wito kuna mambo manne kuna zawadi ambayo ni zawadi kutoka kwa Mungu zawadi ya wito kuna kuitwa na kuitika kuna utume ama kazi ambayo mwenye kuitwa anaitiwa na zaidi ya yote ama jambo la nne ni kujitoa kujitoa mhanga kwa kutumikia watu wa Mungu amesema pia wale watatu kama watawa wana nadhiri tatu za kitawa nadhiri ya uti nadhiri ya usafi wa moyo na nadhiri ya ufukara kwamba yote wanamtolea Mwenyezi Mungu katika maisha yao aliyewaita Amesema basi wamejiunga na familia ya kiroho katika kanisa la Mwenyezi Mungu basi watajitenga na familia zao na kumfuata Yesu kwa karibu zaidi vivyoaita wao. Ana baba askofu ametukumbusha kuombeana watawa waombe walei walei waombe watawa kila mmoja na wito wake na majukumu yake katika kanisa la Mwenyezi Mungu na amewaita wale ambao wameteuliwa kuwa ma, mashamasi wajiweke mikononi mwa ma, mikononi mwa mama Maria mwa, e, awe muombezi wao katika kazi zao waliotumwa na kila tumesikia wakitumwa na mkuu wa shirika kila mmoja katika nchi ambayo ametumwa kwenda kuifanya kazi mmoja Mwanza mwingine ametumwa nchi ya Uganda mwingine katika nchi ya Rwanda kila mmoja basi ndio hiyo ambao ni wito wao basi nani sherehe ambayo imefanyika katika siku ya Jumatatu isiyo kawaida lakini baraka za Mwenyezi Mungu ni za siku zote siku ambayo katika kanisa tunasherehekea utukufu wa msalaba sherehe katika eh, siku ya tarehe 14 ya mwezi wa tisa sherehe ya kutukuza msalaba wa Yesu tukumbuke kwamba tumeitwa na Yesu kuchukua msalaba yetu na kumfuata kwa karibu zaidi basi hapo ndipo tunapofikia mwisho wa matangazo haya moja kwa moja kutoka parokia ya mtakatifu Yohane Mwinjilisti St John the Evangelist katika eneo la Karen ambayo inaongozwa na inachungwa na mapadre wa shirika la Spirita na Spirita and Fathers kwa niaba ya wale walio kuandalia matangazo haya moja kwa moja mafundi wa mitambo Mwenyezi Mungu endelee kukubariki na kukulinda katika siku yako ya leo na siku zijazo abariki familia yako na kazi ya mikono yako Mungu akubariki na kukulinda. Mungu ni mwema kila wakati. Liturgia Katoliki Sakramenti Kuungama Ekaristi Sala Nyimbo Neno la Mungu Ibada takatifu Jiunge nasi kila siku ya Jumapili saa moja unusu usiku na Jumatatu saa nne asubuhi kwa Liturgia Katoliki 
na Padre Bonfas Mukwe. Kipaimara ni sakramenti yenye kumpa Mkristo roho mtakatifu na ukamilifu wa mapaji yake saba kumfanya Mkristo mkamilifu na kumfanya shahidi hodari wa Yesu Kristo mpaka kufa Kupata kipaimara kama sikiza tuni yako tuma neno sikiza likifuatwa na nambari 738102 Mbili, saba, mbili, kwa nane, moja, moja. Mpendo wa mtazamaji wa Capuchin TV, tumsifu Yesu Kristo. Kapu... Mumini wewe unayenisikiliza, usikose kutoa sadaka yako eti kwa sababu father huku muona au pasta huku muona mtumie pasta wako au kupitia mtandao e, ile kwa njia inaweza kueleweka inatumika kama wewe ni muumini wa dhebu fulani au kanisa fulani tafuta muhimize padri wako askofu wako nani wako mwambie tutafutie kaitu kinaitwa pay bill number ama mpesa number hii itatusaidia kuchangia tutaomba uitume kupitia mitandao ile ambayo tumepeana peaneni Unajua pay bill namba ya, ya kanisa la kwako au ya pasta wa kwako tafadhalini jaribuni muwasaidie wao pia wamepata changamoto hii yeah.